It may look like a standard small aeroplane, but hopes are high that this flying machine will revolutionize the future of transport. We are building uh, the world's first all elect uh, electric vertical takeoff and landing jet uh, that combines the flexibility of a helicopter with the efficiency of a normal business jet. Designed and built in Germany, it can take off and land almost anywhere, but is much quieter than other aircraft. And the company believes one day you'll be able to order one, like a taxi, via an app. This is basically um, also, um, our old aircraft. Um, so initially we thought about um, to um, build a two-seated aircraft that we sell to people. But then very quickly we, we saw that this is like not fitting to the, to the vision of the company and that this is basically not solving the mobility problem that we are facing right now in, in urban areas. This is where the latest model is being kept but we can't show it to you. The current prototype is top secret. And that's because Lilium isn't the only company trying to launch the first electric flying taxi. German rival Volocopter is one of more than 100 firms thought to be developing similar technology. Last month, they completed a test flight in Singapore. Chinese firm Ehang has been certified to carry passengers and has been demonstrated with people on board. But perhaps the most well-known name in the field is Uber, which hopes to get its Elevate project off the ground in just three years' time. All these firms are trying to solve the problem of moving people in and out of major cities in a quick and environmentally friendly way. By 2030, it's thought 80% of the world's population will live in urban areas. But transport experts say the roads, rails and tunnels needed for traditional mass transit makes it increasingly impractical. So not everyone is dismissing flying taxis as a fad. Ever since cars and airplanes have been around, I think there's been some sort of uh, visionary out there wondering how can we combine the two. But again, you know, very early days, many of these companies, they are testing their proof of concept. You know, so we're talking, you know, years before the first models might actually be used in certain cities. And it's not clear yet where those cities will be. Lilium has received significant financial backing from Chinese technology firm Tencent and believes there would be big demand for their jet in Asia. On the paper, of course, China would be in an, an amazing market, a lot of people, a lot of mobility problems, but it's way too early to say um, or at this stage um, where ultimately the service will launch. Lilium still needs to get their jet certified airworthy before it can carry passengers but it hopes to start commercial flights by 2025. Sarah Walton, CGTN, Vessling.